Re remember the Bluths? The frozen bananas? Remember where they sold those? The Beach. And I'm reviewing a Beach House album. So, I guess everything is connected after all. Beach House are a Baltimore dream pop outfit consisting of Alex Scully and Victoria Legrand, who, in my opinion, is one of the greatest voices in music history. I know, I know it's a high claim, but seriously, man. Thank your lucky stars. This record was a surprise release announced just a couple of weeks ago, and I flipped the hell out. I was scrolling, I was on Pitchfork, and I was like, oh my god. Beach House. And then I just froze for like 26 hours. Beach House is everything to me. I, I love Beach House a lot. Um, so take everything with a grain of salt, I suppose. I don't know. I, I, I try to remain fairly objective. But take it with a grain of salt that Beach House is like my shit. It's my jam. So I am partial to listening to something from Beach House that I might not like at first. And I'll just keep listening to it for a long time. So it's different because with a lot of other things, uh, you know, I'll, I'll listen like three or four times to get my opinion on something like an album. And then after that, if I'm not with it, I'll just kind of let it dissipate with Beach House. If Beach House was to put out something that I really just didn't like, I'd probably be listening to it for like 20 years until I like could get it. You know, <laughs> it's one of those bands for me. So that being said, my thoughts on the Beach House discography thus far. Their self-titled first release reminds me of someone just gently pushing you under some warm ocean water and you're just kind of sitting there and you're like, wow, someone pushed my head under here and I don't like that, but since I'm under here and I'm listening around and you just hear like this sweet little hum off in the distance, that's what their first album reminds me of. You know, that's the relatable experience I'm tying it to. Devotion is this sweet, melancholic dream. Honestly, my favorite Beach House record up until this point still. The song Turtle Island is one of the most haunting and simultaneously sweet and adorable songs I've heard in my entire life. It's honestly one of my favorite songs and a lot of my favorite songs, uh, uh, you know, Songs on Devotion have a chance at making it onto that list for me. Teen Dream came out. It's a brighter, heightened version of the Beach House sound. Way more instrumentation happening. Way bigger in scope. And they just continued that onto Bloom, which is, by most people's measurements, uh, you know, like their biggest accomplishment to date. And it's a fucking amazing record as well. Both of those records as well. Some of my favorite songs I've ever heard in my life that just speak to me so much in this very like personal way when I listen to them, even though they are these grand uh, spectacle musical pieces. So I loved Bloom, and then we got Depression Cherry, which just came out a couple months ago. And I have come to adore uh, Depression Cherry as well. I really liked it when I originally heard it, uh, but as time went on and I kept going back to revisit it, um, a lot of times uh, I have grown to totally totally love it. There are some spectacular songs on that record. Sparks is my favorite song of 2015 as of right now. And Bluebird is just like, holy shit. Bluebird? Fucking Bluebird, bro. Depression Cherry mixed a lot of that darkness and melancholy with something like their self-titled or devotion uh, with that really amazing production quality that they've had with Teen Dream and Bloom. And that fusion, I, I'm, I'm totally in love with it. However, Depression Cherry, and this isn't really a criticism for me personally, but Depression Cherry regressed Beach House's sound. It, it stripped it back. Thank You Lucky Stars takes it a whole nother level back. This is some low, low fi, pretty bare bones beach house that we're getting here. A lot of loot based stuff. Like Depression Cherry, this one took me a little while to warm up to, but also like Depression Cherry, I now really am enjoying it. 
quite a bit. Feels kind of disappointing originally when you first dig into it, at least for me, because I don't know, I, I'm starting to miss that big sound. I'm starting to miss the, the giant feel of something like Bloom. Um, so hearing Thank You Lucky Stars, which came out of nowhere, and honestly, I wouldn't have any right to, su to suspect some epic thing. Um, but nevertheless, I want more of that, or at least a con uh, continuation in the direction that something like Sparks was going. Uh, with these, a lot of really like harsh shoegazy sounds. Uh, that's kind of the direction that I want to see Beach House go in now, and that I was kind of hoping they go a little further in with Thank You Lucky Stars, and they certainly did. They did go a little further with it here. Uh, but it was in a completely different way, uh, in this really lo-fi way, in this really um, more simplistic way, uh, simplistic more in terms of the production uh, and, and less so the music, which is still pretty solidly written, still pretty creatively written. There are places where the songwriting is noticeably more interesting and intricate, and other places where it's clear that it was kind of just a, a, a very simple thing. Here, let's find a loop that we can go. Here, add a couple more things to that, blah, 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 blah. And the process going that way. There's some of that. But there is some really good songwriting here, as usual, with a Beach House album. It's this compact, fragile little emotional experience, and you get to have Beach House handcrafting that for you. With the really solid songwriting and some fantastic performances. You know, uh, Victoria Legrand is like the great serenader. The opening track, Majorette, is bright, easy to digest, simple, just nice little tune. I don't think as an opening track it necessarily sets up the spirit of what this record is very well, but I'm not complaining that it's on here. It's a really good song. I love She's So Lovely. It has these haunting, weepy little keyboards backing the whole thing, and this one's just, like, straight-up devotion. Like, straight-up devotion. All Your Yads is a pretty unique track for Beach House. It's very uh, stripped down, pretty much stripped down to just this one pretty simple guitar line, and uh, some really simple drum machines and things kind of build from there. And it just keeps getting better the more instrumentation that kicks in by the end of the song. It's one of the most tender and uplifting tracks the band has ever put out. Victoria's vocal delivery of that little title hook is just so fucking heartwarming. Like, I can't even... It's just like, ah, my heart. It's so... Ah, it's hot. Ah, it's too hot. Too hot. Jesus. Lay off. Too... I can't. The song One Thing is pretty neat. It took me a little bit to come around to this one also, but it's an interesting track. Uh, I got some David Bowie flavors going on here, like this driving guitar that keeps going through the song and some other nice little guitar work in the end. It's it's a really good song. Uh, very different. Very different for Beach House. Um, and I wouldn't say it's like spectacular or anything, and I, I'm not like, hey, go make an album where you're doing everything that you're doing here, but I like it. I like the guitars. I like how it sounds, I like how it progresses, it's a good song. Common Girl sounds pretty familiar, it's also just like straight up devotion. The sixth track, The Traveler, is amazing. It's probably as like one of my top three or four favorite melodies on this album and Depression Cherry, like if I was going to put those two together from this year, one of my top like three or four favorite. Um, so good, it's got these kooky organs and, and uh, Victoria Legrand on the song, it's just like Jesus. Jesus. Uh, it builds really well and finishes perfectly. Elegy to the Void, seventh track. It's another great builder, another uh, uh, pretty solid track. I'm not going nuts about this one, but definitely builds well. Rough Song is another familiar sounding one, uh, but but it's good. It's, it's really sad and um, also totally adorable in that way, something like a Devotion was. I'm, I'm talking a lot about Devotion because this album, like, is really uh, <laughs> into that. I'm in love with the guitar tone on the refrain of this track too. And Somewhere Tonight is our gentle, sweet little closer. It's totally like riding that carousel at midnight right before the theme park closes and all those things you're feeling when you're looking up at the stars and going around the carousel. That's, that's just what I'm feeling. That's, that's where it transported me to. More so than anything, this is just some of the most intimate and cozy and sweet and nice music that that uh, Beach House has produced. It's really charming and it's filled with details that I'm still exploring and look forward 
to continuing to find. As in all the Beach House records, which are all solid lyrically, there are always just little moments in certain songs that really stand out to me, little lyrical bits. So I've written some of them down on this yellow paper right here. I, uh, I love the first two lines that happen on the record. Imitation, red carnation, nothing is new, and neither are you. Neither are you. There's a great image on all your yas. Lay your dead flowers all in a row. Sooner or later, we're gonna let them go. On Common Girl, nobody special done a good thing for somebody else. The final verse of The Traveler is just fucking heartbreaking. I was looking out of the window at the sky, starless vigil of a life that has gone by. Ugh. And Rough Song has a, has a pretty, pretty phenomenal chorus. Pretty phenomenal chorus. Once again, great lyrics throughout, but these are the ones that are kind of standing out to me right now. <sighs> a lot of bitterness and, and nostalgia going into the lyrics on Thank Your Lucky Stars. So yeah, I really liked Thank Your Lucky Stars quite a bit. It's growing on me quite a bit. I really like it. <laughs> Boom! 80. I'm going 80 on this one. Was that... Should I not have done that? Was that in poor taste? Are we not doing gun jokes? Sorry. Sorry. I'm wilting. I take it back. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you think you can tolerate me. If you don't think so, you know, get out your one. Just shoot my channel away. Uh, but subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. You should uh, watch me talk about music and movies and stuff. So subscribe to me. And um, comment, tell me something, you know. Don't even talk. Don't even tell me about Beach House. Let's talk about uh, favorite uh, reptiles. So leave a comment below about your favorite reptile. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This is like my shit. It's my jam. So I am partial to listening to something from Beach House that I might not like at first, and I'll just keep listening to it for a long time. So. It's different because with a lot of other things, uh, you know, I'll, I'll listen like three or four times to get my opinion on something, like an album, and then after that, if I'm not with it, I'll just kind of let it dissipate. With Beach House, if Beach House was to put, remember the Bluths, the frozen bananas, remember where they sold those, the Beach, and I'm reviewing a Beach House album, so I guess everything is connected after all. Beach House are a Baltimore dream pop outfit consisting of Alex Scully and Victoria Legrand, who, in my opinion, is one of the greatest voices in music history. I know, I know it's a high claim, but seriously, man. Thank your lucky stars. This record was a surprise release announced just a couple of weeks ago, and I flipped the hell out. I was scrolling, I was on Pitchfork, and I was like, oh my god. Beach House? And then I just froze for like 26 hours. Beach House is everything to me. I, I love Beach House a lot. Um, so take everything with a grain of salt, I suppose. I don't know. I, I, I try to remain fairly objective. But take it with a grain of salt that Beach House out something that I really just didn't like. I'd probably be listening to it for like 20 years until I like could get it. You know, it's one of those bands for me. So that being said, my thoughts on the Beach House discography thus far. Their self-titled first release reminds me of someone just gently pushing you under some warm ocean water and you're just kind of sitting there and you're like, wow, someone pushed my head under here and I don't like that, but since I'm under here, 